there's this uh, whole f- field of journalism where it has it's become incredibly popular, where news stories don't tell you about what happened or what's happening, but they speculate as to what might happen. And so it's called speculative journalism. And you just pay attention to this because our minds, we kind of have this preoccupation with what might possibly happen. Jesus knew that this was going to be a struggle for the disciples in the days, the weeks, the months ahead, that they were just going to be thinking about everything that had happened, and it's not going how they thought it would. They were going to be overwhelmed by overthinking. And so Jesus says, I've told you these things so that you may have peace. Who do we trust in? Who do we trust in for peace? We are overthinking when we ask what if. We look back and imagine if only. And whenever we say if only, we must almost always imagine best case scenario. My life would be so much better now if it would have gone differently then. When we look ahead and we overthink, we think in terms of worst case scenario. It hasn't happened yet, but we play it out what might happen, happen with what if situations. What could possibly go wrong? Overthinking focuses on what, how, and when. And this is how many of us process. We look at the challenges and the struggles of life. We want to know what's wrong. What are we going to do about it? How are we going to fix it? How are we going to deal with it? When's it going to stop? When are things going to go my way? When will things go back to normal? So overthinking focuses on what, how, and when. Overcoming focuses on who. And this is what Jesus does for the disciples. Isaiah 26, verse 3, Isaiah says to God, You keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Get your thoughts off of who, or off of what, how, and when, and give your thoughts to who. Keep your thoughts focused on me. Jesus says, I'm the one who has overcome. We want to find peace in the power and the presence of Jesus. So we want to do that together. One of the best ways to do that is in in worship. When we worship God, it, it takes our anxious and overwhelming thoughts and shifts them over to the overcomer. And so we want to find peace. And do not forget, our hope is in the Word of God.